What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I want to show you how I shot my latest Rob Riches video. Now if you don't know who Rob Riches is, he is a professional athlete. You should go ahead and check out his YouTube channel in the link in the description box below and you can see all of the videos that we've done together. And in today's video I want to show you some of my favorite gimbal movements in order to show a full 360 degree view of what Rob is doing throughout the video. Now, if you're not into working out, that's perfectly fine. This video is still relevant to you because I show you some unique camera moves that will give your audience a different kind of perspective and it will allow them to see everything that's going on. And this is especially important when you're shooting workout videos because you want the audience or the viewer to see form, proper execution, and overall give them a great experience while watching the video. Right now I'm gonna show you some clips of the workout video. I want you to pay close attention to the camera motions and movements. Notice how I'm using the gimbal to recreate some of these beautiful orbit or 360 degree shots and also try to understand why I'm using specific camera moves in order to shoot that certain shot. For example, if we take a look at this clip right here with Rob doing the hamstring curl, you'll notice how I use the gimbal to recreate an orbit shot. In this video, I've been using the Jew and Crane, so I'm gonna show you how to recreate it on the Jew and Crane. So you wanna be shooting in full follow mode, and in order to enter full follow mode, press the mode button twice. One, two. Now, why did I go into mode two? Because I like going up and tilting down. This gives you a nice bird's eye perspective. Now, while I'm also tilted down, I'm adding a nice, 360 degree orbit shot. Notice how I'm holding the gimbal. One arm goes up right under the pan motor, one goes towards the back here. I'm trying to get a nice pan here, along with some changes in tilt as well. So I tilt up, as I go up, I tilt down, and I continue my pan. This will allow you to get that 360 degree orbit you want to get as much coverage as possible because for a lot of these shoots, you do not get a second chance. So it's better to get as many shots as possible from many different angles. And because gimbals provide smooth and beautiful footage, it's easy to recreate those shots simply just by moving around. You don't have to set up multiple cameras. You don't need to do any of that stuff. We have technology. Let's use it to our advantage. And in this case, the Jew and Crane allowed me to capture my favorite types of shots. Now this next shot is another excellent way to showcase a specific subject doing something. For example, in this shot, we have Rob doing the leg press. Now for this shot, form is key. So I tried to make the viewer see exactly what Rob is doing from multiple different angles. Again, I'm incorporating that orbit shot. So how did I shoot this? I basically went into inverted mode on the Jew and Crane. I shot this whole thing in inverted mode and I panned around him. I recreated that orbit shot. Take a look at how I'm using my legs here. I did that crisscross motion with my legs. So one foot on top of the other, one behind, and I slowly moved around him. I rarely used slow motion footage to smooth out my shots because in real time motion, Using that technique with my legs, I was able to get smooth enough shots without any weird vibrations. So for workout videos, especially, form and pacing is important. So to get those multiple angles, to get the right pace is important. Trust me, I've been through a whole bunch of different types of feedback on Rob's channel telling me that I use too much slow motion. So I stopped using slow motion for the most part, especially when Rob starts talking about pacing. So you need to understand how important it is to get that proper stance, that proper foundation into the ground and with your elbows and arms in order to recreate those 360 degree shots in real time. Slow motion is great maybe for B-roll shots. I still do it in this video for B-roll shots. But when Rob is talking about specific form and pacing of an exercise, I have to shoot it in real time. And by doing those, again, smooth motions with my arms and legs, I'm able to shoot this in real time without any problems with shaking and vibration. Now the last clip I wanna talk about is the leg extension clip. Now did you notice anything particular that I did with my gimbal movements? I'll tell you right now. I started off at eye level with Rob 
And then I directed the focus to his legs by slowly raising up the Juin crane and tilting down. And then I incorporated an orbit shot. I didn't take too many steps, if any, and I just tilted my body to the left. And then I did another shot where I tilted my body to the right. Get as much coverage as possible. So I started off with a medium close up on Rob and then tilted down and did a circular movement with the Juin crane. Shooting in follow mode here is a must because it's gonna transition your hand movements into the gimbal. So the rotation and tilt will be playing a huge part in this video. Remember to pace yourself, to take your time and to never rush because if you rush the process, the footage will not come out well. Again, if you wanna check out the full video of Rob's leg workout, go ahead and check out the link for it in the description box below. By watching the full video, you'll understand and see why I shot it the way I did. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel with notifications on. I'll also leave a link for the Jew and Crane version too in the description box below, so make sure you check it out. I can't wait to see what you create, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.